Up Close with Colin Thompson. Brought to you by SO City 24 Hour Gas Station. Welcome back to the show. I'm joined today by young Johnny Bracho, AFC Bournemouth midfielder. Johnny, obviously, you know, we've talked about your, your historic debut, um, among other things, among other um, topics, but ultimately, what is your, your ambition, your, your goal in this beautiful game of football? My goal is most likely to play a regular in, in um, the Premier League or maybe one of the top leagues abroad. And, and speaking of the top league, you know, right now you're in the championship, which is the second tier of English of the English football packing order. So you're, you're not far off uh, in, in terms of the, the structure, the league structure. Um, but 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 obviously, you know, what's it going to take to 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 realize that that, that dream of yours? Uh, Bournemouth is not too far to get promoted, but I think myself, I need to um, build my strength up because it's professional football, I'm still 16. I need to get to the um, physical element of the game. And, and, and again, talking about the championship, there's a few other Bermudians in, in that league as well. Who, who are they? Um, the Key Ross and Kane Critchlow. <laughs> yeah, you know Kane? Yeah, I speak to them quite a, quite a few times in the um, past. Uh, so, so is it a case, you know, where you, you guys are playing together in the same league? You know, do you, you, know, do you support one another in, in, their, in your endeavors? Yeah, when they send me messages, it inspires me because they're quite they're older than me, and when I get to their age, I would want to be at their level or better. And 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 just 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 I just recall, you know, in, in the article just recently, um, Gun, Sean Gooder was giving his his um, assessment on you, and and you know he he he, he had some very very um, um I would say good. Good points that he raised about about your potential. Um, you know what what does that do for your your confidence to to hear you know him speak of your potential in the, in that regard? Yeah, it boosts my confidence majorly a, a lot because most of the time my dad and him are always calling each other because they're good friends and he always gives me um a helping hand and what um will help me in my journey. So you have a network out there. You guys have a network. Your dad, Sean. You know, you're getting, getting advice. Yeah, my dad just reaches out to him to um, tell him what I've been doing recently, how I've been doing, and then they will give advice to me. Now, your dad actually coached you as well, didn't he? At, yeah, he at did. North Village? Yeah. Yeah? So he's been in your camp for, you know, well, obviously he's your dad. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what's it like um, um, having your dad to, to support you in, in, in your athletic endeavors as well? Yeah, well, recently in lockdown, because I couldn't do training with my club or anything, my dad was waking me up in the morning before I had to do online school, and then he'd take me to the park, maybe do my running, then right after my online school, take me to the park again, do some stuff with the football, and then sometimes there would be a beach day, because Bournemouth has a big beach. He would take me to the beach, let me do my running there on the beach, and then, yeah. And 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 so he's he's been in your corner, um, you know, what, what's, you know, how helpful is that? Well, it's very helpful. It was a push in hand because I think if I was living by myself, I, I don't think I would be doing as much training as I, I was doing with my dad. And, and is there anybody else that, that's, you know, in your camp offer support? Obviously, Wells was, was quoted as well as, you know, giving some advice from his experiences, um, you know, in, in, in terms of helping you on your football journey, you know, you got some 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 good good advisors, you know, some expert advice, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm sure, it's inspirational. Yeah, some of my coaches are former footballers, so they also give me advice. And I think my friend Remy Connington, him doing well, inspires me, which makes me like want to do better. Yeah, obviously, Gooder came out of Village as well, um, and 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 one of, of a few others, um, um, Canton Jennings, um, um, David Bascom played played professionally. Um, all out of the village camp, so you're following in, you know, in in those footsteps. Big big shoes to fill. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but you think you think you're doing a good job. Yeah, more to come though. Yeah. So so you mentioned about about COVID. You know, obviously that's really interrupted. You know, your 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 daily your daily walk, your daily routine, um, if you will. And um, um, what in in what other way has it impacted on your your football? Um, and 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 you know. 
not only that, but but what do you do daily, you know, as a footballer, you know, for those out there who, who may not be aware, actually, what do footballers do? What What's a daily life of a professional footballer or academy level footballer? Well, my normal day is wake up, go to school, and then afterwards go to training. But my under 18 teammates, they just wake up, go straight to training. They train all day, go home, and then ready for the next day. So when you train, do you do like um, phys- um, f- um, fitness um, and and Tactical, technical. Well, on a Monday we'll do drills, or yeah, we we'll do. Or tec- you do one separate. On a Monday we'll do light technical drills, and then Tuesday will be more physical session. Mm-hmm. Wednesday we'll do gym analysis on our game from the weekend and psychology. We have a um, psychology teacher that helps us mentally, mm-hmm. and then on a Thursday it'll be mostly ma- match preparation for the game on Saturday. So, so you. How long do these sessions last, on average? Hour and a half, I think. And is it a lot of traveling involved, or you, you're pretty close to the? I'm pretty close, but a lot of my teammates have to travel like hour, hour and a half. I'm about twenty minutes away. Mm-hmm. And so you say you wanted to to ultimately. Well, before we get to that, we were talking about the COVID. How has COVID, um, you know, disrupted your 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 daily routine? It's, has it been a challenge for you? Oh, it disrupted me because I couldn't be able to train my teammates. But at the same time, I think it helped me a lot because I think I was working hard, like harder than ever, because my dad was just pushing me every single day. So in an odd way, in an odd twist, it's yeah, it's kind of helped you out. But that's that's great. That's great. And and you said you know obviously you want to play. Ultimately, you want to play in the Premier League. What about internationally? Yeah, I would like to play for Bermuda or. England man, potentially. Mm, and England, you haven't ruled out that possibility. All right, and we see Nathan, Nathan Trotter's already represented England at, at youth level. Yeah, so if that opportunity came, you'd... you'd yeah, I'll grab one to it. Yeah, okay. Well, also, you know, um, um, you've, you've obviously had a f- experience internationally playing for Bermuda at what, was it under 15 level? Yeah, it was a great yeah, feeling. What, what was that like? Great feeling, I was going into it, not, not expecting, um, what the other teams are going to be like because I've never really played against another country. But I think it was a good feeling on playing well for my country. Pride? You felt proud? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a big deal, isn't it? Like, was it an honor? Yeah, it was an honor to um, um, represent my country even though I couldn't play any semi-finals because I got suspended from two yellow cards. Mm, okay. Well, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But, but, but Dan... And, Obviously, you know, you, 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 you started your journey at, at North Village um, at, at, a, at a very young age. What, what, was some of, what, what was some of your, well, before we even get to that, why football? What drew you to football? I don't know. I just, just remember kicking a ball around. And then my um, journey with North Village, I always wanted to play for North Village first team because I, I didn't, I didn't know about for village. Yeah, <laughs> you better. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about no English football, Spanish football. I just, I just knew no village and only no village. So, who who do you support in England? Did, did, before you went to Bournemouth, did you have a, did you have another team? <laughs> Manchester City. Manchester City. Okay, okay. I wonder why. I wonder if Goda had anything to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you're a big fan of Goda. Yeah, because um, that's who my mama supports, and my mama supports City because of Goda, so I follow my mama. Okay, all right. And dad's, dad's for who? Liverpool? And my dad's for um, Tottenham. For Tottenham, okay, all right. Hot Spurs. <laughs> okay, but you're for Bournemouth now. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Right, right. And, you know, you, 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 you started your journey. Did you think that you were going to be, you know, take it to the professional level? Or you just started out having fun? What was it like? I was just having fun with my friends, playing football, trying to win everything in Bermuda. Didn't expect it. What Was there a point, though, when you felt that, hey, you know what, you know, I've got the hang of this, and I, you know, I think I've got some potential here? Oh, uh, yeah, because when I, when I heard about Ken playing in, um, in Spain, all I wanted to do after I heard that, I just heard I wanted to play away in England. I want to play away. I just want to play away. And with that... We'll be right back in a moment. Don't go nowhere. Up Close with Colin Thompson. Brought to you by SO City 24-Hour Gas Station. Buy fuel, auto supplies, snacks and food. Visit us at SO 24-Hour Gas Station, located in the heart of the city, 